Okay, uh, the first thing we're going to show you how to do is how to merge a show. So what you do first is you go under, it's under the file tab. If this browser is in here, um, like say it's on moving light control, um, you go down here and press the browser button, it'll pull up your browser, and then you hit the down arrow under file and hit merge, and then find a show that you want to merge. Right now Master Show has most of what we need. So we go under here and then we click what we want. For example, we want Submasters and Patch so we can get the LEDs. And then that loads our show that we had previously but into a new show. Okay. Um, and then at, that's pretty much it for merging shows. Okay, cool. Well, we'll just do a few things combined in this one little video. Um, you're going to show us today how to record a cue, which is really simple, and how to record a Submaster. So go ahead and walk us through your process. All right. So first, let's do a submaster because I work in that order: submasters, then cues. Okay. Um, so say you want to record a submaster with light 16 in it. 16 is right now is what we have set for the um, for the JCHS light. So when we hit 16, it pulls up JCHS, and then after that, when we want to record it, you hit record, and then you can just tap a button. For example, you can just hit here and it'll record a sub there. Okay. Or you can do it a different way and just say record and then hit sub and then hit a number. So for example, 10. Right now we have it labeled as full wash, but we don't really need to worry about it. So we just hit 10 and it'll record it there instead of just having to tap the button. It's whichever one you prefer. Cool, so that's recording a submaster. Now show us how to record a cue. So recording cues, so say after you've recorded a sub, you go in and then you have your entire show set up and then once you start going you hit you bring up a submaster and then you press record and it'll automatically hit cue so you can just hit one and it'll record the first cue uh, most of the time it's in uh, automatically plays the cue you can change that in the settings but we can do that later we can show you how to do that later and the cue is then going to pop up there and it's just going to auto automatically uh, be n uh, numbered the number that you told it to be. Yes. And it could be 1 or it could be 1.1 1 .1 or even 1.01 1 .01, mm -hmm. but that's the smallest decimal it goes to, right? Yes. Um, if you want to, if depending on how you want to do it, if you want to be the most efficient, what you can do is you can say record queue next and it'll record the next queue but it'll only do it one step at a time. So okay. if you record it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and not have them in groups you can do it that way and it's a little quicker so you don't have to keep scrolling down and looking for what the last cue was. Okay. And you just mentioned groups, so um, can you show us how to build a group real fast? Alright, groups aren't too hard. You just go over here into this tab. There's a little plus down at the bottom. Okay. Uh, and then you go to the groups, which looks like the three circles, and then you go over here and then there's a group button over here, so you hit group, one, enter. That creates the group. Okay. Um, and then when you want to add channels, say we want 16 in our group, we hit 16, and that adds it to that group. Okay, and can I always go back and add more things to my group if I want to? Yes. And how do I do that? You go back to channels, and then you just type in another number. No, wait, sorry. You have to type in the numbers that you already typed and just hit it, and it'll rewrite it. Okay. And is there a button on the board that will take me to my group page? You can double tap group. Okay. Um, say you're here, you double tap group, it'll go to the group page. Any type of button that has an, a tab for itself, like effects, mm -hmm. uh, you can just double tap it. Another thing that's really useful on this board is the, um, it's called the help button, is that correct? Yes. Uh, can you explain that to us really quick? So the help button just shows you um, anything that you're looking for. So say you click on a group or something like that and you hit help. Mm -hmm. uh, where is it? It's over here somewhere. Um, help? Right yeah. Here. I never use help because I just read the manual. Sure. Um, but you just click on what you're looking for, say a submaster or something like that, and hit help. It'll mm -hmm. show you most of the things that you need to do. This help thing also shows you all the key, key bindings that you have. Like say you didn't have a board. Mm -hmm. You can just use a keyboard for most of the key bindings that you have. And if you don't know what a button does, can't you hit the button and then help? Is that correct? Yes. Can you show me that? So let's Like S3. Yeah, S3 is a soft key, so it's not actually going to do something. It's just going to tell me to reverse. Oh, okay. Um, which 
But I can set whatever I want in my soft keys, correct? No, they have auto they have auto soft keys. Okay. Uh, those soft keys are based on what are important to that spot at the moment. Sure. Um, but say you don't know what um, let's see macros are. Let's let's go to macro real quick. It's going to record a macro instead of going into the macro page. All right. So let's go over to macros. It's around here somewhere. Macros. Um, right, holding this button and pressing another button. Okay, I see what it's saying. Hold, you have to hold the help button and then hold the macro button. Oh, I got you. Okay, it's cool. It's the reverse. Um, hold the help and then hit the button that you want to explain to yeah, you. Yeah, so use to record to recall macros. So macros, for example, are just random key switches that you don't want to do multiple times. Okay, cool. All right, thanks very much.